All right, everybody. So this is Enzo, my border collie, and he's uh, agreed to be the demo dog for uh, testing medial shoulder instability or medial shoulder syndrome. And um, this is part of our, our sports medicine evaluation or sports medicine workup. This should be a normal palpation test that, that any of your uh, physiotherapists, um, veterinarians, sports medicine specialists should be doing on a routine basis as they're um, assessing, at least annually, to stay on top of these. And very, very simple um, palpation technique. What we want to do is we have to stabilize the, the scapula because if we just take the leg and start bringing the leg out, the entire scapula thoracic will move. So to do that, you're just going to copy the spine of the scapula, come in, run on the acromion process, and just apply a little gentle, gentle pressure to just kind of stabilize it. Then you're going to come behind the elbow. You want to have the elbow in full extension. So I'm going to just gently grasp behind the elbow. I'm going to do elbow extension with shoulder extension. I'm still stabilizing the scapula, and now at about a 45 degree angle, I'm just going to bring this out to end feel. And it should feel just like a nice, like a TheraPand or, or a tight rubber band where it just goes out, there's no spasm, there's no discomfort, and you just take it to the point where it feels like it won't go any further. If we want to be a little bit more advanced in this technique, we can get one of these devices, it's called a goniometer, you can pick them up online um, pretty much anywhere. Um, and what you're going to do now is actually take this, run it down the spine of the scapula, right to the acromion process again, which is centered right over the joint, and then run this component of the goniometer down the forelimb to measure the angle. All right, so we're gonna come in. We're gonna press in gently on the scapular spine, elbow extension, shoulder extension, and now we're gonna go out into abduction, okay? And so this would be what's considered our abduction angle. Normal should be roughly 20 to 30, somewhere in through there. Um, Again, the numbers, we'll talk about that further, but we want to at least compare them to the opposite side. So that's going to be an important thing that you always measure bilaterally to, uh, to, look, for, uh, to look for what's normal. So, uh, so that's our abduction angles, how to measure for abduction. And uh, thank you very much, Enzo, for being such a good uh, demo dog.